Did you guys notice the change in temperature? Whoa. -ho -ho. Okay. So we are down two players tonight, so this will be an interesting session. When last we saw the Troll Skull Six, they had finally arrived at Frost Gorge Sound, uh, led there by their code and guide, Ice Raking. Uh, they took a moment to prepare themselves uh, after a, a long rest and then made their way across the sound in the midst of a howling blizzard. Uh, they managed to reach the Iceberg Sanctuary successfully, climb through a sort of access tunnel, uh, and they've reached what would be the prow or the front end of the sanctuary itself. And upon trying to sneak into the shrine uh, where they knew the, the claw of these Coden to be, they discovered that they were not alone, and there were a great many corrupted ice brood minions lying in wait. Uh, combat quickly ensued, chaos reigns, and that is where we pick up the day. Pop some different tunes on here. Action. Action and cold outside. Love it. Uh, so we left off at the top of round three, where it is Keytree's turn. Uh, and Keytree, in her giant dire wolf form, uh, is just going to run over towards Galatar, sort of shake her fur suggestively and, and nod her head in a, in a gesture full of meaning, pregnant with meaning, one might say. And uh, Galatar will deal with that on his turn. She will hold her her action to dash. Uh, 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 that brings it to the Honor's Claw, who at this point... Climbs his way up the stairs towards the bell tower, looking over each of the, the open sides uh, down at the sheer 40 foot drop below as, as the ice brood minions swarm beneath him, gesturing with his mighty hammer towards the rest of you. Uh, and you watch as he approaches this long uh, cylindrical bell in the tower. Wait a second here. Hold on. I thought we, we had silenced the bell. He'd already tried to hit it to no avail. I believe concentration on silence was broken. Because uh, Kala cast it. I don't think it. so, because I've not been hit any. Because he, he, was, he was trying to hit it. He was well, getting angry. No, he was coming down to us. He was, he was about to beat some ass. Uh, I, I am missing some tip temp hit points. Yeah, I failed a constitution save. That's what I thought. Yeah, so, wait, so he, he knows now and is going back up to the bell? You see him walk back oh, up to the bell. Oh, no! <laughs> and he got there on his turn? Yeah, he hadn't gone very far. Shit. No. Shit. Uh, Shit. You, you watch as... I believe he was at the edge of the effect when the silence faded. So as he turns around and climbs these stairs once more, gesturing with his hammer, guiding his swarms of minions towards you all. You see him reach the top as he stops and cranes his massive shoulders around, gazing over all of you. And as he smiles, his bear-like fangs uh, protrude over his lower jaw in an eerie grin. He raises that hammer, smashes into the bell, and this loud gonging sound erupts from it, and you can Feel the shaking vibrations in the ice below your feet. And again, a second time, the hammer comes down and strikes the bell. Excellent Foley work back there, Ryan. <laughs> Loving that. <laughs> and as he turns back towards you once again, you see him put the hammer uh, head first down on the ground and he just puts his arms out, stretches his hands on top of it, and stands in an almost uh, statuesque pose, like a guardian pose, at the top of these stairs. Which brings it to these guys, the swarm around Brina. They are gonna attempt to 
hit, Brina. Ooh, and that is a 12 to hit. Oh, yeah, baby. Does not hit. I'm the strongest one in my life. They will move a little bit further up and in. And that will bring it to Kala's turn, and Birdie's on deck. Uh, the game is still paused. There you go. I'm gonna run over here and start attacking this group with my swords. Okay. Uh, yeah, 23 will hit for sure. Get, do you get sneak attack on them? Uh, I think I would because Birdie is in there. He's in their space though. He's not. I don't know that you can flank a swarm of creatures. It's not about flanking. He just has to be within, oh, it's within five, five feet. Five feet. Yeah, and not incapacitated. He doesn't actually have to be doing anything. Sweet. Then yes. Okay, so that's thirty-two damage. Yeah. Very encouraging news for Birdie. Doesn't have to be doing anything. Nobody getting getting Wol Wolgrax flashbacks to where I was just like the, the meat sack who they kept alive. <laughs> uh, 17 will just hit. Uh, that's just 10 damage for that one. Yeah. Uh, Solid hits. Yeah. That's the end of my turn. <gasps> looking okay. So yeah, that, uh, as you run up, uh, you bury the sword into the first, uh, this pro probably would have been one of the ice brood uh, wolves by uh, the front, their, their fur kind of sticking off like jagged bits of, of icicles kind of pointed every which way. First sword hits them, bites deep and sort of cracks and shatters them, they fall into a crumble of, uh, a, a, a pile of crumbled ice. Second creature uh, would have been one of the ice brood spawnier, uh, who is it, it, it's humanoid in shape, but it's carrying what looks like a spear made of a solid piece of ice, and a massive chunk of ice, like a shield, kind of protruding from one arm. Uh, and much the same, as you kind of spin around, you find that gap in their defenses. Take a shot and bury that blade, and it just falls down to the ground. And as it hits, you see like parts of it fracture and crack, and it just remains motionless. Is at the end of your turn. Okay. Birdie's up and Brina's on deck. Okay, so if you could remind me, because it's it's it would have been fresh in my mind, but I have thus thus forgotten. But when we end our turn in these boys, or start our turn in these boys, yes, uh, it's all of the above, I believe. Right, right. So Kala. You take 16 cold damage as you end your turn in the sort of area of frigid effect. Hang on just a second. Let me look at another feature. Okay. Oh, yeah, the feature of stomp your face. <laughs> that, that still does happen, yes. Uh, yeah. When you start your turn in their space, they can make an attack against you. 18 hit? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking to Kala. I was like, what are you even asking? Like, you, you know 18 hits, right? <laughs> is, uh, take 16 slashing damage as uh, one of these ice brutes finer come up behind you with this jagged uh, 
icicle looking spear thing just rake it across you a couple of times yeah okay not cool even a little bit wait so it's still their turn oh because i started my start turn, turn in, their space. in their space okay well i tell you what we're gonna do i don't know if i should use it now we got a couple other hordes, but I feel like I can get out of this. I'll leave Kala with the... <laughs> um, okay, let me ask this. Uh, if I use my Iron Legion Flamethrower uh, and try and do... It's, I believe it's 30 feet long, 5 feet wide. If I send a strip like that way, mm -hmm. would that get both hordes without hitting Brina? Yeah. All right. Uh, then what we're going to do is I'm going to use my Iron Legion Flamethrower, and I'm going to expend four charges. Uh, and they all they need to make uh, dexterity saving throws. Okay. Don't you dare pass. Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm rereading their their stat blocks real fast. Okay. You're being so quiet, man. What's happening here? Can't use some, some of the features they can't use if they have less than fifty percent health. Gotcha. Okay. You said deck saves. Deck saves. The whole lot of them. Uh, the one For single two. Rolled an eleven. That's a no bueno. The uh, group around Brina rolled a 19. Okay, well, the one I'm in... That is a bueno. ...is now on fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> With you in it. <laughs> not for long, not for long. Don't worry, baby. <laughs> I got a plan for that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, they, will ex they will take 8d4 fire damage at the start of their turn. Uh, they are currently on fire, and would need to uh, use an action to scrape the tar off of it, uh, off of itself. Okay. So they're on fire at the start of their turn. They take damage until they use an action to turn the fire off. Um, okay, that leaves me with a bonus action, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, we're going to do. Uh, <laughs> you, you, he like kind of gets hit with that sword in the back and you watch his brain just does this like hair flip and turns directly towards the monster and starts his unbreakable majesty. Uh, as a bonus action, you assume a majestic pres presence for one minute uh, for the duration whenever any creature tries to attack you for the first time on a turn. The attacker must make a charisma saving throw on a failed save. It cannot attack you this turn. Must choose a new target. So it's basically okay. sanctuary with a DC 18 charisma save attached to that. So uh, that is that. That's my bonus action. Um, movement wise, fuck, what are they going to do? Attack me? I'm going to run away. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend, let's see, five. And 15, 20, 25, 30. We're going to pop. We're just going to pop over. over. Ooh, well, actually, no. Maybe I'll go call his direction. Yeah, I'll go call his direction. I'm hiding back here. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back here. And I'll, I'll go behind Kala. Uh, and that'll be my turn. And they can make an opportunity attack if they want. But he looks majestic. They're going to try. Well, they certainly can try. They have to make a DC... 18 charisma saving throw to even think about it uh actually on a success they can attack me but it has uh disadvantage uh, that is a negative one no so it says on a success it can <laughs> attack okay so on a success uh well no on a failure it can attack you must choose a new target uh or the attack is waste no, i don't think they can choose a different target i don't think they can for opportunity that. attack no yeah so they just fail and and on a success even if they can do it 
They can attack me, but they have disadvantage on any saving throw it makes against my spell on the next turn. So, be wary. He's out here. Yeah. That's a nice little turnaround. That's at level, uh, whatever level we are now. That's his most recent uh, acquisition, as it were. (laughs) All right. Uh, That brings it to Brina. Well, I also have really cool magic powers. Um, hit, hit with sword. In their space. Yeah, I do. To oh, ravage you. Oh, mm. oh, that'll hit. And I need to roll to figure out which damage they use. Brina, I can't see your health bar from where I was because you're underneath the horde token. What's your? How are you doing? You can hover her on the. Uh, I figured. Yeah, I, fi- I combat figured. tracker. Don't worry about me. Oh, you can't. Can you? Worry about me when yeah. I say, "Oh no," because <laughs> then I'll be worried. I, I, don't I don't have it popped out, but yeah, when I hover over like Kala or you, I see your health bars pop up. It's not popped out. I Shit. Don't see that in the I'm not. Track. I'm not doing that. Hmm. You doing it in the? Probably your fall balance. <laughs> it probably is. Okay. Uh. Brina, you are raging. I am. And I'm also resistant to cold. Well, you take 10 piercing damage. But the cold is oh. steel. <laughs> oh, man. Man, they got. Yeah, it would, would have been 20, but it's reduced to 10 as you rage. It's like Dang. Crystalline, sort of ice covered, uh, big, big, meaty wolf like, lunges at you and tries to bite down onto your arm. It grabs some of the leather you're wearing instead, but. Yep. Damn. He got. He got. He. All right. Well, that sucks. Um. Turn. I'm gonna take a step back. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit him. Uh. uh yeah. Sure. I'm gonna reckless attack, baby. It's a simple life I live. Twenty-five. Yeah, that'll hit. Um, it's one-handed, 18, let's do it, it, it again. Harder. There we go. Yes, Brina. Yes. Okay. That- <laughs> Turn on the blender. Yeah, so yeah, as, as, as this wolf, like, clamps down on your arm, you, you just, like turn so quickly it sort of snaps his icy head off because it's just like a solid chunk of ice at this point and as you do that you catch another creature with your sword on the downswing come back for your second attack and you take care of the rest of them and that's that swarm is dead great all right then she don't make me just wasted that that majesty thing that's looking cool (laughs) well don't forget there's like four other swarms coming yeah, sure. don't worry, Alex. Yeah, we're we're it's not out of the woods yet. All right, I'm turning my camera off so I can eat this hamburger without you guys looking at me. Without me <laughs> looking at you guys. Carry on, do do. So at this point, let's see. swarming over Keytree and Galtar. I forgot where they were. Bad way to be reminded. <laughs> Not far oh, we're going to have to keep them alive? The... <laughs> I'll do it. I mean... Generally, that is what teammates do. I thought they'd, like, plane shift or something. <laughs> I'm going to handle it on Galtar's turn. Okay. <laughs> Keitri can't talk. So. I guess she can. Yeah, she's high enough. She can. Oh, she can, yeah, talk. Yeah. can she talk through her animal forms? Yeah, you gave At her this level, necklace. Yeah. Oh, got a necklace too. Better. Um, she's still at full hit points? It's Christ. Like, none of you people have been hurt. Mm, right. We were. Blame the majestic presence, right? We've been playing it kind of smart. 
right, so they're they're gonna try to attack Altar, and with 15, they are not gonna hit. Uh, okay. Uh, brings it to the next group. They are gonna. They're just going to swarm right the hell over here. Great, great. Mm, yes, asshole. <laughs> and which six? That is Brina. They're going to try to hit Brina. Ooh, that'll hit. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, they rolled hot damage too. God damn, no, boy, stop that shit. Yeah, so one of one of these uh, these like husky, uh, Svani or Norn, come over with their their big icy malls and just start going to town uh would be 26 bludgeoning damage reduced oh. to 13. <laughs> i'm continuing the canyon where brina knows all of the sons of swanier even though it's oh she's just like trevor <laughs> so, well cool now that cool into, uh, huh I would like to use reaction. Ooh. Since okay. they're ending their turn within five feet of me, I can move up to half my speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. Cool. Uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry. Wrong group of zombies on the next group. Is, I got to remember, can't forget they're going to take, this group's going to take fire damage. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a little symbol on there, but it's really tiny. Okay, I see, I see it. I see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, my synapse fired there. Oh, so. I can, I can, I can do a thing. Set them on I'm, fire. I'm prepared for this. Ha! Yes! <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool! Oh, right. Yes! For thousands of years, Ryan just set the tokens on fire. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, when he lit our, our ship on fire, it was crazy. <laughs> Galatar at this point, heeding Keytree's uh, warning as these creatures like swarm over them, uh, kind of grabs the scruff of her neck in one hand, has his sword in the other, and leaps up onto her back. And the two of them sprint off, and you guys hear Galatar shout, We will draw them away! Don't worry! And they run away. <laughs> well done. Expertly done. Exit, exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> Narrative genius. <laughs> there, there was a, a Shakespeare play at my high school and it was like second act and everybody in the cast forgot their lines <laughs> it's like nobody knew what to do and so somebody said let us be gone and they all walked off stage and curtain dropped and that was it <laughs> tight save energy save energy <laughs> <laughs> Let us be gone then. Bye, Galatar. Uh, yeah. So they, uh, I will say, Galatar, let's see what he's got here. What can he do? Nothing too crazy. Definitely doesn't want to hold them in place. Shit, yeah. Let's let's just do that. We'll just use a, a like one charge from the necklace of fireballs. Is that? I think that automatically does the thing. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's like he's he's charging away, like rattling his saber in the air, and he turns around and just chucks a glowing white whitish yellow ball of energy and explodes and they have to make deck save which I doubt they're gonna make oh they did that's funny uh, I hate math fucking 
history majors. Okay. Oh, preaching the choir. Respectable. Respectable. Uh, yeah, so there's just this thunderous explosion. Uh, you guys see the, the ball of flame ignite, and all of these ice brutes sort of turn towards him. And Kitri, as they ride away, growl. Deal with that on their turn. Uh, let's see. Uh, that. What am I looking for? Here we go. Alexa's turn. All right. I don't know what the fuck's going on over there, so I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. There we go. I didn't have a token selected. Five. Ten. Okay, so can I ask mechanically, are they leading away groups that we don't see? Like we still need to kill that guy, those guys. Like they're those, they're those guys are the ones that just got fireballed, mm. and you you would have seen that. Fireball. Yes, and yes. Now you're, you're, as you kind of turn around or, or like slice the pie around that mast, you're seeing them all sort of turn and start to make their way away. Okay, so they're following them. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really gonna get too crazy because. They're pulling them away, and I don't. That's them up there. How far away? That's too far. Man, aren't there? Oh, God, do we remember hearing if there's more hordes like in these other buildings? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't You're remember. Sure. I don't remember. Okay, nope. Firebolt, these guys. Okay. <laughs> 13. 13 will not hit. Damn. Uh, then I will... Nah, I think I will just take another step over here, so I gotta watch that group burn. And uh, that will end my turn. Alrighty, Rue. So, I think they're... So, at the start of their turn, they're all going to take damage. I accidentally dropped them out of initiative, and their oh. initiative is wrong. Well, I was going to do my damage, though. He's so excited, Ryan. Let him do it. Oh, and I'll never get the fire damage. Let oh, me I have the fire it. damage. Get... We'll get it. I want Alex to play. <laughs> I'll get to roll so many dice. I'm so excited. <laughs> So many. <laughs> came. It went just before you did. So they, they're between Kala and you. So they'll get there eventually. Uh, this will be... Oops. Well, shit. Now the initiative is all fucked up. Hang on. Round four. Top of the round. Should have gone. Keytree. Continues to ride off to the side. To the sunset. Watch as they, they, like, appear around a, a building to the north and, and west, and they seem to be following the, the road trail as it leads around the edge of the uh, iceberg. And you just hear a string of French obscenities coming from Galatar. Uh, which brings it to Honor's Claw. A good name. Who... So you guys watch as he, he's sort of standing there uh, guarding this bell. And he looks out and he sees uh, Galtar and Kitri riding by. And as he watches the, the tide of the battle sort of turn, he raises his hand once again. He watches a, a long lance of ice forms above it. And he slings it out towards Rena, And it just rockets right past your head and crashes into this large mast beside you. and just shatters, uh, missing with a 13. Roller coaster of emotions. 
Shout out to the shield, though. I know barbarians don't really fuck with that, but more mature, wiser. Uh, yeah, that's good to have. Still a dumb bitch, then. Well, he can do. <laughs> so that brings it to Kala. I'm just gonna attack that mm, mob. Okay. <laughs> A nat 20? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Holy shit. So okay. that... Wow. <laughs> Wait, is it the fire mob Nine. or the other one? No. The other one. Okay. Damage? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, like, please great. let me play. <laughs> Wow, Kala said no. 86 damage. 86. Holy shit. <laughs> that's almost like, oh. yeah, that's almost my HP. Like, you could just have <laughs> one shot me. It's really fucking one shot me. So, <laughs> you watch as, like, Kala take, taking a step back as these creatures swarm all around you, Brina, and the sons of Svanir come up with their hammers and start laying into you. This ice shard explodes by your head. Where is Birdie on the map? I'm right Under there. Flaming? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, Birdie, you're swarmed by all these. You, you, you see Kala like disengage artfully and as she skids to a stop on the slick ice, her claws kind of digging into the deck plate a little bit. He watches this murderous glance takes over her eyes as she sprints into the middle of these things and starts laying waste. One, two, the wolf beside you goes down. The son of Svanir next to you goes down. Another ice-covered, uh, ice-brewed Svanir, it's fully covered in this casing of hard ice, gets a, another thrust and it just like peels it like a crab shell. Uh, they are, there, there's only like one creature left. It's this, this <laughs> husky looking ice elemental that's just a big cluster of humanoid shaped ice blocks that's sort of lumbering around Brina's space right now. That was yeah, ice blocks look scared. <laughs> they, they do not they have an expression, but you oh, can see but it's their, dead now. their little icy chunky legs are uh shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh and your bonus action to uh do your your offhand attack? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For eleven yeah, I think that should actually only be like six, because I'm not supposed to add my dexterity. So yeah, I think the last the should style. have been less too. Yeah. It's all good. Well, that's enough. Uh, they they had three hit points left. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's uh, like, wait, it's, no it's, more. it's one of those like cinematic moments where she goes in on this rampage and it's just like growling and snarling her teeth bare her fur standing on end she's tearing these things apart she gets down to one last creature she's breathing heavy and just standing there looking <laughs> at it she takes a couple of steps forward and just like a casual swipe the, you guys hear the ringing of steel on ice and the creature just Ooh. shatters damn damn why, why am i aroused that's <laughs> weird why are you aroused <laughs> And mm -hmm. now, at the beginning of their turn, these ice brood take damage from the fire. Hell yeah, they do. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Four, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 fire damage. Nice. At the start of their turn. Does it feel good, Kate? Felt so good to roll those dice, I'll say it. <laughs> yeah so you guys watch as these these creatures start to kind of stagger forward and you can see that this this napalm is clinging to them sizzling away the outer coating of ice on most of these creatures the the poor elemental kind of towering in the back is having really a lot of trouble making its joints behave properly as the ice kind of melts and then refreezes and turns to steam again oh birdie's first war cry <laughs> <laughs> Probably not your first. Oh, they can't get all the way there, but they can get around there. Uh, and they will try to attack the person who set them on fire. Well, they're going to have to make a charisma saving throw, unfortunately. Yes, they will. Charisma saving throw. 
16. It's a DC 18. They have to choose another target or the attack is wasted. Actually rolled an 18, but they have a negative two modifier. I had a feeling. I had a feeling they had a low. Uh... All right. Well, they will turn that attack towards Brina then. Sorry, uh, boss. Will a 15 hit? No. All right. Yeah, they're, they're staggering towards you trying to swing. And you can see that the, the flames that are still on them are just kind of blinding them, and they're they're unable to make the hits land. Fuck yeah! Damn. Which brings it to Bergy's turn. I oh actually, uh, all right, because the other ones had all died, so there were no ends of turns. But Bergy, you start your turn in their space. Uh, and they Do they have try. to make an attack? Yes, they'll, they'll have to make. An make another save. Charisma, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna move away from them again with my reaction. Okay. I'll just stand here and pay <laughs> shit. <laughs> they were not able to succeed on their attack, I take it. They just look at me. <laughs> what does this look like? They just like jaws. I as I as as my hair is just like billowing in the <laughs> you watch this this one uh son of spawnier. It was just like looks just freshly ascended to ice brood status. It still has like bits of gray flesh apparent, not fully covered with ice. It kind of stalks towards you, flames burning on him. Raises his maul as he kind of leans in. You see his expression kind of soften. Or he just goes shh, like, shh, shh. He goes like he's still got the hammer in the air, but you see like it just his body kind of goes limp and the muscles relax. <laughs> All right, and then Bertie pulls his pistol out. <laughs> Bob him in the chest with the inquest persuader. Let's go 21 to hit. Send him home. Oh, yeah. Having oh, All right. Well, 10 force damage. Um, <laughs> uh, and I. <laughs> you actually you pull, pull that out and put it right in front of his face as he's kind of looking at you. You see, for, for an instant, his face changes its expression. You see the surprise register. You kind of smile and pull the trigger. <laughs> give, give him a yeah. wink. Yeah. Body just falls over. Brittany leans in for a kiss. Each, each creature in the swarm has about 10 hit points. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do, uh, I can see Brina. How's Brina doing? I can't get her token yet. I'm all right. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't worry. I'll tell you when I'm upset. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move uh, it backwards then. You're more than welcome to try and make a uh, an opportunity attack, but I have a hard time believing that's going to work for them. So they will certainly try. I think they have to. If they have a minus two, they got to roll a 20. Yeah. Yeah, they would have to. Yeah. yeah that's, that's not that. So, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You see that, like, the, the wolf starts to snap at you. And, and Bertie, Bertie turns around, and it's one of those, like, I hate, I hate to see you're gonna love to watch her leave kind of things. <laughs> All right. Well, that brings it to Brina. He just fucking watches them leave, I guess. Like, what the hell, man? Good um, luck. Good luck, girly. You got this. Good <laughs> luck, girly. Um, I'll take that damage up front, oh, I'm assuming. Yes. A generous god I am. Ooh, that is a critical hit. Where do you take it back? <laughs> Four is piercing damage, so... Uh, it would be 33 reduced by half to thir 16? Yeah. Okay. 16 piercing damage. It's not bad. That's not bad. I'm gonna use Stone's Endurance as my reaction. Um, reduce the damage dealt to me by 1d12 plus 3. Okay. A mighty 7. Yeah. And? Which means 6 points of damage because I know what math is. Wait, doesn't it reduce it by 10? No. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I thought you were just rolled a d12. My bad. No, you rolled, you rolled crap on your d12 then. <laughs> I did. I rolled crap on. Okay, cool. Good um, observation. I will take that damage heartily. Um, I'm gonna move 
here, but I turned to look at him, and no oh, golly gee, I just want to hit him. When in doubt, just hit him again. Reckless attack, baby. That's 17. 17? Okay. Yeah, you, you just you take a swing at that elemental that's sort of lumbering around as he's trying to swipe at you. You don't even really have to dodge so much as just sort of like duck out of the way, bring that sword up, smash him, shatter him. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it again. Take me out to dinner, baby. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Crit, but let's do it. Get out of town. At least your shirt's dead. Get out of town. Yeah. It's really and dead. These burning creatures are sort of staggering around Barry. the deck, swinging towards Birdie, and he's running, and you're dodging out of the way. You just following Charlie's earlier example, you sort of wade into them and just start one, two, three. Just hammering them down like whack-a-mole. That that swarm is gone. I'm gonna get a twenty on that brutal critical. That's can't. All right. Well, but second fucks sucks for them. Um, I'm gonna turn around, get ready to fuck up those guys. I guess I would like to take cover though. Yeah, I'm gonna take cover behind this thing actually. Um, moving away because I don't want him to throw a stupid idiot lance at me anymore. Okay, that's my turn. Hmm. Yeah, the brutal critical is supposed to be two additional dice. Yeah, not a solid twenty. Um, I'll fuck around with that on this end. Let's roll extra die on crit for brutal critical, but. It's not. Yeah. We'll we'll figure it out. It would not have mattered anyway. Okay. Cool. Love. Right. That. Uh, so these fuckers are going to howling with rage. These ice brood take off, chasing after uh, Galatar and Kitri. It's to Galatar's turn. Riding on Keytree. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'd say at this point he doesn't really need to expend any spells, so I'll just throw a cantrip of some sort at them. Uh, you guys watch as a, a streak of flame escapes from Galtar's open hand, smashes into one of the ice brood, and they chase him off. They're on their way out. Heroically shouting curses in, in old Crichton French at them. Uh, that brings it to Alexa. There is not much that I see. I'm going to go ahead and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, and okay. Do I see old jerk face up there on the in the tower? Uh, I would say Oh no, not at all from that angle. Yeah, no. Yeah, Cuz it's yeah, all grayed the, out. I'm dumb. The uh the shrine itself, the lower shrine is kind of obscuring your view. Let me see. Can I had to just where can I Okay, I can take one step over. Oh, I can see this token now actually. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the, oh, all the fireball standing down. there in the archway. Okay. Twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one will hit. And that's twenty-one fire damage. Fantastic. And yeah, that will end my turn. Just kind of looking up at him. Brings it to Kitri, who takes Galtar, and they continue on their way. Merry journey. <laughs> ride, Kitri, ride like the wind. 
hear a snarling of, <laughs> of the wolf on the breeze. <laughs> That'll bring it to Honor's Claw. Who at this point, having caught a firebolt in the face, you, you see like his his uh, hands at, at rest on his icy hammer, his huge hammer that he's got. I like to poke the bear. Rip the haft a little tighter and he kind of rises up to his full height and gives a much sterner look down below. Turns to see most of his creatures have gone or are existing in a state of icy rubble around the mast that uh, Rina is next to. And he is going to start walking down the stairs again. Brings it to Kala's turn. Can I go in here? Oh. And as you <laughs> enter the door, which was partially cracked, like one of the two doors was open, you see about 10 feet in front of you the claw with mm. his hammer is walking in your direction, <laughs> and there is a swarm of ice brood scattered around the room. Whoa! Oh, no, there were more! Not like this. Just attack the ice brood there. Okay. Uh, also, because I'm an idiot, uh, just make a dexterity saving throw for me. I'm pretty sure you're going to pass it. Hmm. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So, so you, you notice that as you step in, the floor and the walls and even the ceiling of this shrine are coated in a thick rime of ice and it's very slippery mm. uh, there seems to be a, a sort of chilling aura emanating from this large statue in the center of the room this massive totem pole like structure uh with a stylized dragon's head and long serpentine neck coiled around it with a large chunk of ice at the base uh yeah 30 hits for sure that's 11 damage. Okay. Uh, and then I will bonus action disengage and run back out. Okay. All right. Uh, that brings it to Bertie and Brina's on deck. All right. All right. Uh, Brina's looking okay. Alexa's looking okay. Bertie's looking okay. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, I'll take 30 feet this way. Uh, and I won't think I see anybody. So I tell you what, as I pass Brina, uh, I'll go ahead and, and, uh, hit her with a level... We'll hit her with a, a, a level one cure wounds there. Uh, get nine healing back. Thanks, man. I see this this long-haired Pantene figure kind of jogging past her. It's like the basketball slap on the ass. Like, way to go, champ. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Up here. Um, we love to see it. And I will... Hmm. I'll go ahead. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll go ahead and um, take use a a bardic inspiration. We're gonna do a mantle of inspiration here. Everybody gets eleven temporary hit points because uh, I can see the four of us here. Uh, and you can immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed without provoking the attack of opportunity. So, but he's like, "All right, gang, let's let's uh, get to positions here." Uh, and I. I will go ahead and take my reaction to go essentially like in front of the doorway and try to stare down whatever is, is coming out of there. Yeah. I can get 
I'll go here. Oh, just kidding. Lighting with the wall. We'll just go gently into that good night. Fuck yeah. Prepped and ready. And everybody gets 11 temporary hit points. Don't forget to add them. I got all of that. Fuck yeah, brother. That was a good one, Canfield. Jeez. Sorry, guys. I, uh, you know, do nothing if not my, my bardly duties. You do. Support character supreme. <clears throat> but we'll bring it to Brina's turn. I'm singing the song of my people. Oh, you know me. I'm just going to run into this little building and hit some guys. How do I get in here? Oh, ah, who's he? Oh, he's big and scary. We're going to fight in a really tight quarters. Oh, this is going to be a fucking mess. Uh, 20, Towering, 25, like 30, 10 foot 30, high 30. polar bear frozen in glacial ice is just like Ooh. marching towards you. Do I get the polar bear or do I just go for these shorties? Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, come on, me. Step on oh, the right. frigid ice. Oh, come on, me. Uh, get deck saves against shit I can see while reading. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Don't know. Oh, right. You your should hit be. the ice, but you are accustomed to hunting in these conditions. I'll tell you what. Am I allowed to change my mind and go after this tall ass polar bear instead? Sure. Cool. I'm gonna go after this fucking tall ass, stupid, dumb, idiot polar bear. Anyways, all right, cool. As you make your approach, he's sort of dragging the heavy head of his maul against the ground. He's just smiling with his toothy bear-like nos- uh, muzzle. Cool. That's cute. Ooh, scary. I'm gonna reckless attack in random. Maybe. 30 will hit. Uh, 16. Oh, damn. Now we're gonna do it again. Do it again. again. I'm assuming 27 hits. Yes, 27 right. hits. So damn, and 27 damage. And 27? Yeah. Jeez. All right. That will be my turn is this like a little patio area out here like is that door open the door is not open okay uh all right so hang on i gotta i gotta do some math there's no room for satan in dnd it's all full of math it is be able to open that door with a bonus action, right? It's an object interact. Object interaction, yep. All right. I just like to pretend. Come on, baby, take it. Take it. All right. That is you want to open the door? It's a, I mean, I already used my action. Your action to attack, or free action, but you already had your weapons in your hands, so you're you're sort of one free thing to do in the world. With yeah, am I able to just like smash it open? Yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah. Now you, oh. you see, as you kind of kick the door open, you see that there's about a 15 foot walkway that just sort of extends out over the sheer, you know, hundred foot drop into the icy water below. Kick uh, and ass, and if I'm able to to your left and right as you kind of lean your head out. If I'm able to stay within his range, but get like right, oh, I hate that. Am I am I able to be in? Yeah, you're still in the door range. range. Okay, kick ass. I'm gonna be right here. Okay, definitely. Well, I'm trying to not take up. He's a tall boy, but I don't want to give him any cover with my tall ass body either. Let's rock. I'm done with my turn. Oh yeah. Ice so you're out on the balcony now. Oh fuck. <laughs> Chasing them. Just see what happens. Them. I don't know. Which brings us to these ice brood. We're going to run outside. Yeah. Out here. 
they skitter and claw their way out the door down the stairs. Both doors now flung wide open. Uh, they, they swarm down the stairs and, and kind of occupy the spaces of Kala and Alexa. Even. Uh, they are going to attack Kala. That will hit with a 25. Slashing damage of 21 slashing damage. As this very healthy group of ice brood swarm you and just start clawing and biting and ripping at you. Uh, Alexa, you have a brief moment as they their attention is kind of turned to the right instead of the left. All things being equal. And then Galatar continues to hurl spells and melee attacks at his pursuers which brings it to Alexa's turn question is do I need to cast shield or are they going to hit me or are they going to miss rather because I'm in their space oh, don't they get oh, to attack me sorry yes I was I was managing the uh no oh, yeah the <laughs> Yes. All good. Starting their turn in their space, they can make their ravage attack, which is a uh, not gonna hit. Okay. Fourteen. Uh, then yeah, that still changes fucking everything. I was thinking. Of course. Let's go. Ah, uh, man. Sabrina. I know that guy's in there. Man. Okay. I don't want to put myself between it. I will. I would say you you hear for sure. Brina kicked those doors open. Yeah. Struggle, kind of making its way out onto the balcony. And I, I will say that the the balcony here beside you, like all of that area that surrounds the shrine with the pillars, is about five feet higher than the ice you're standing on. Mm. Or. 10 feet rather sorry it's a pretty big uh difference the stairs go five feet up every five feet lateral and then this little place right here is that just like a pretty overlook and you just don't fall into the it ocean it's just bare stone with no railing all right cool, cool, cool. <laughs> kind of regretting yeah. my choice to stand out here see you later in the ocean dumb bitches why is that I'm not good at this game. I've never been good. At this. I can't make long term choices. It should be fine. I feel good. <laughs> yeah, I'm right up there. Let's gamble. I'm just going to run away from that group. 5, okay. 10, 15, 20. They will try to hit you. Yeah. Ooh. That is a critical hit. Well, I guess there's no shielding that away. That was a bad gamble. <laughs> Piercing damage. Don't uh, worry about it. Should be fine. I, as as you leave, there is there is uh, a wolf, uh, an ice brood wolf, and two of these completely frozen ice brood spawn here with just like these jagged shards of ice all over them, and all three of them snap and stab and catch you, and you take forty one piercing damage. <gasps> Oh, fuck. Baby girl, no! It is not an insignificant number. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. So as I stumble away nearly to the edge and try not to fall off. What was it you said right before you moved? It was like, I feel pretty good about this or something. <laughs> so yeah. Gamble. yeah. And the gamble took you, and so it should be fine. Sure. Yeah, what? I'm gonna just fucking cast a spell at them, actually. I will cast Scorching Iris yes. and light their asses up. So, one, two, three. Uh, the middle one won't hit, but the other two will. Good deal. So then that is uh, 16 damage. Fire damage. And that really isn't... That really... Oh, well, I guess if the... Th all three have to hit for it to be like worth more than a firebolt. I'm starting to now learn that about 
this spell. It only took 14 levels. Um, and man, so I can't see this side, right? That's completely obscured to you. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, screwed. Last five feet, I'm going to step in here, and then I'll call that my turn. Okay. Uh, so as you flee from this, this swarm, a couple of the ones in the back do turn their attention to you, and they manage to catch you a little off guard. It kind of throws you through the air. You land a tumble, but manage to kind of land on your feet. Uh, and in retaliation, you slam a, a couple of scorching rays into each of them. One of them, it hits uh, one of these uh, spawn air fully covered with ice, and the impact is just right. You, you see this like harmonic resonance that it sets up, and he sort of cracks and falls down inanimate now. Uh, okay, so that reaches the top of the round. Kitri Galtar and their crew have kind of like moved out of range at this point. So, Honor's Claw. Uh, let's see. Rina, as he towers over you, uh, he turns his head to watch you as you kind of make your way tactically out the door and brace yourself and you can feel this this frigid aura coming off of him all right you take 10 cold damage oh just from being around the fucker oh my days i am you are resistant cool naturally and in rage you take half cold damage as a totem barbarian so you take two. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Now uh, he is just gonna take like one step, kind of to the side, and you see he like swells up. He takes a deep breath and he blocks that door. He basically just Ooh. wedges himself in between uh, the shrine and you. Uh, and he raises this massive frozen hammer, brings it down. Uh, will a 16 hit? That is my AC. Gonna ring your bell. That would be, when you reduce it to half, it would be 12 bludgeoning damage. As he brings it down, and it, it catches you. You manage to kind of deflect that blow with your shield and knocks you to the side. He comes up on the backswing with a second attack. 28 will hit. Yeah, it will. Uh, reduced to half is 13 more bludgeoning damage. It sort of like catches you between uh, uh, his hammer and the door jam. It sort of slams you up. Your shield takes most of the, the damage, but it is a heavy hit. I don't like this. I'm going to be honest. I put myself in this position and I don't like it. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that is his turn. So that brings it to Kala and Birdie's on deck. <clears throat> I'm going to step out of their space. Okay. Uh, to get an attack, right? Because I started in there. Ah, uh, yes. When you start in their, in their space. Did they, do they have... A limited number of reactions because then they do one against when you they don't. start in their space they don't use a reaction to hit. right okay i thought it was because she was stepping out okay your thing uh no they I, they don't have a reaction though because they did try to hit me and they, they i don't know how it works with a swarm though maybe a swarm has more reactions yeah. when they're above that's right 50 percent hit points right there we go okay they are reactive yeah uh, so well, slashing balls. damage. It's sixteen slashing damage. Uh, I'll use uncanny dodge on it. Okay. At half it. Mm. Yeah, one of these jagged uh, <clears throat> ice brood. Well, it looks like maybe an ice brood human just reaches out and kind of backhands you with this jagged arm and does a little bit of slashing, but you manage to twist out of the way and take less than you would. 23 hits for sure. Uh, Nobody's in range. Yeah, just 
seven damage. Terrible. And three Two. damage. It's a plus one short sword, so I think I still get the plus one from uh, that. Ah, yes. Got it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, that is seven, nine, ten. Ten is just enough. Uh, so so this this guy this this deformed looking ice brood human tried to, to kind of backhand you and you spun out of the way it took less damage than you would and in retaliation you give him one two and he's he's oddly you know crystalline and it's a weird texture of stuff to be hitting so you, your blows kind of glance aside a bit but you do manage to take him down uh, and that brings it to Bertie and Rena's on deck okay um let's see what I can do against these boys Not as much as I want. Protection. Not uh not anything great. Um, tell you what, Alexa is pretty hurt. How's this horde looking? It's still looking pretty good, yeah. Still looking pretty good. They've lost a couple of members, but not many. Right. Uh, let's see, can I Hmm. Shit. Okay, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I just can't walk through them. That's too far for me. Alexa's not looking great. I'm going to I'm gonna hit him with the Asuran wrist rocket. Uh, and we're just going to do... Three, four. I'm going to do four charges of the Asuran wrist rocket, which should give me... Three plus six. So six starts headed their way. Uh, yeah. And that's going to, what's that? Six. So it's 1d4 plus one. Right. Times Three times six, 18. 18 points of damage on them. As Birdie just pulls out his wrist. And you see all the little missiles start impacting with people in this horde. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you watch as one of the elementals just is disintegrated. Uh, a couple of the other missiles hit some of the others, uh, finishing off a few that were looking kind of rough. And now the, the horde itself is is looking a little diminished. Okay, okay. Um, and then I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30 if I can get there. Mm -hmm. Actually, can I like can I try to uh like egg him on and like like draw him towards me if possible? The swarm? Yeah, yeah. I'll even I'll even move like into their space and I'll I'll uh have my pistol brandished. And I'm I'm looking like I'm gonna fire at somebody next. Okay. He's so charismatic. Don't you just want to follow? Mm -hmm. uh, ending your turn there, you do take nine cold damage. I did forget about that. Okay. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> ah, my hubris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Got I the better of you slightly. You have their attention. Yeah. Good. Mission accomplished. That brings Bro. Rena. I'm nervous. Um, I don't know why you're nervous. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I actually feel good. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do my God's honest best to hit him twice. I'm going to reckless attack because the bitch is going to hit me anyways. Owie, owie. Maybe. I don't know if it's connected again. My internet dropped off for a minute there. Oh, yeah, I don't see you in the playlist. Oh, rats. Where'd I go? Do I need to refresh it? Sorry, gang. I had to re good. remove my modem over here. 
And because I am a technical mastermind, I was able to do it. So very brave. Cool. I think it works. Hmm. Very brave of me. Hey. Hey, 24? 24 will hit. It's 22. Oh, fuck yeah. It fucked you, dumb bitch. Sorry. Um, the brutal critical is not correct. I'm assuming two additional weapon damage die when determining the extra damage for a critical hit with a melee attack. Yeah. That's 2d8. It should be rolling 2d8. I don't know where 20 is coming yeah, from. Yeah, it's just given a flat 20. That is odd. Um, it is 12 for that brutal critical. All right, hang on a minute. I gotta do some math. Unless it's doing like max brutal critical of a two-hander though. Even then. That would be, yeah, a two-hand strike would be a d10. Right, so it's still not right for our application. Yeah. Uh, all right. Hang on. That, and then. I mean, I have the thing set to roll the extra damage die on crit for brutal critical and savage attacks features, but it's not done wrong before. No, I think it's just because it's defaulting to a two-hand weapon and not a one-hand. What a silly goose. Okay, hmm. I think I got that. Yeah, two two solid hits, but you notice like as you're as you're using your shield to kind of like keep him at bay and, and kind of block his vision. As tall as he is, he has trouble seeing where your strikes are going to come, and you manage to sneak under his guard and hit him. Every time your sword makes contact, you feel this this solid sheen of ice with armor beneath it, deflecting part of the energy that you're putting into these blows. It is a solid hit. Cool. That's awesome that he's really strong. I love that. Um, I'm going to... This sucks, bro. I'm going to look back at Alexa. Can I see her from where I'm at? I know it's like a 10 foot. Yeah, you can see down on Alexa with your height. Okay. Yeah, I can see up at you. I'm going to see if I can. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can kind of goad him to take a step forward to where Alexa is able to see him, and I'll risk the attack of opportunity and my imminent demise. There's no need to yell. But with that crit, I want to use it as an opportunity for him to take a little, little step forward. I will say, as is, is that, is that critical hit strikes, you, you reach that sword forward and it kind of plunges up underneath part of this ice and it really digs in. Like you embed it four or five inches into this, this icy coat that he has. And for a hot second, you think, oh, I got it. Like that was a solid hit. And as you withdraw the blade and kind of back up, making eye contact with him, you see a familiar kind of expression in his eyes. You recognize this as a battle rage, similar to what you uh, experienced. Oh, and he just kind of looks down at you. And it's, you can't, it's hard to tell because he's got a bear's muzzle. It's like a half smile, but also half angry. And he says, Who dares violate the sanctity of this shrine? And he doesn't move. <sighs> well, does say where I'm at? Yeah. You're going to take that attack of opportunity? He does not move. What a bitch. All right, well, I'll stay right where I'm at. And <laughs> okay, when he asked that question regarding who's uh, violating the sanctity, Rand just goes, You, idiot. Um, takes a little step back and 
tries to prepare for next round. Okay. Oh, bro, I hate Barbarian V Barbarian. All right, let's party. The fight of the who's got the bigger meat head. Who's the bigger? It's not me. <laughs> the swarm now is going to attempt to attack Birdie, who has gotten their attention. Oh, charisma save first. Yes, these the are charisma. Do yeah. Twelve. They are unable to attack. So they will move back towards the shrine. Are they out of my... Did they leave my range there? No. All right. In their space. All right. So they will attempt to hit Kala. Does an 18 hit? Me. Are, th are they allowed to move in between that? In between what? So they, made, they tried to attack... They made their saving throw, or they failed their saving throw, and it says they have to choose a new target. Wait, let me let me find the yeah, exact wording here. To choose a new target to attack, or else, or else the attack is wasted. Okay, all right. I didn't know if it was like an immediate thing of like you in the moment, or like I didn't know if you were allowed to move in between. If this is this the attack they do because he's in their space, can they do that no, to somebody else? The, the oh, this is just their... a regular. Right, because it's 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 if. if um, I don't know. I didn't know if they were allowed to like move in between that, choosing a new target look. for that attack. Because yeah. it's like they make the attack action, and, and then they have to attack. spend it. That is right? a really it's weird attack order of operations thing. And then it's I, like if I there's nobody say, there, it's wasted. I would say they're 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 starting to make the attack, but then they can't bring themselves to do it. So they, if they're gonna attack, they have to attack someone else, or else they just don't attack anybody. Okay. Uh, so six, that is slashing damage, which wasn't too bad. It's 15 slashing damage. Uh, we use uncanny dodge again. Yes, yes. I yeah, used it no, for their no last way. attack, which was on their, yeah. I, I thought the attack was like a reaction attack, I but I, think I don't think so. it was. I think I it think was on their right. turn. Yeah. It's all good. And that's the end of their turn, which brings it to Alexa. Uh, he's standing in the doorway, right? Yes. So I could feasibly see him. Yeah, if you, you back up to about there, you can just see like the, his shoulders and his head. Okay. Okay. Then let, I mean, let's, um, uh, no, we won't go max gamble yet. We'll just do a little gambly. And I'm going to quicken a firebolt for him and then a regular firebolt for them. And because I am using the staff, I have to roll funsies, but that comes after the spell. So first spell is for him. 16 to hit. I don't think that's going to hit. Uh, a 16 will hit. Oh, that is the surprise of the evening. So 20 Bar fire Barbarian damage. AC. I was expecting more with his iciness. He just doesn't take any fucking damage. And then this one to the swarm. 13. Wow, that's a low. 13 will not hit. And... Too dispersed. Then I need to roll on this table. She's one creature takes damage to a spell. That teacher has disadvantage on rolls and ability checks. Hey, I only hit one person. That would be Honor's Claw. So he has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks before the start of my next turn. That's yes, sexy. So that would be for the, for the spell that you use the meta magic on. Right. Yeah, that was the first one. That was for okay. him. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I quicken the first one for him, and then regular cantrip for them. Cool. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks made for the That is... You don't know how clutch that is. <laughs> well, I guess they're just straight because she frenzied. Or mm. reckless, yeah, attack. reckless attack. That's reckless, right. sorry. I keep thinking of that. But either way, that helps for one turn. Oh, that's delightful. 
Oh, uh, no, yeah, that will totally end everything. I'm just going to hang All tight. Right. I got an eye on everybody. So on the claws turn. Let's uh, go, Shorty. Green, I need you to make an athletics check for me. Oh, no, not like this. <laughs> um. Uh. All right. <laughs> How high up are we, Ryan? <laughs> you didn't mention a number. Oh, Just like no. hundred feet. Just like a normal athletic. Oh, that's effect. like. Not with advantage or anything, right? Oh. <laughs> Actually, well, you're, you're ra raging, so you yeah. have advantage on that athletics. is strange. strange. Oh, fuck. Yo, oh, my stomach just dropped through my toes. Twenty-five is not bad. I don't know though. He's a strong bitch. It's barb barb. Without moving his feet, he reaches out his massive arm and palms your face like a basketball. Alexa, you can just barely see Brina as she kind of struggles to dodge out of the way as this massive bear paw just grabs her by the front of her face. So did he grab her, her with paw. disadvantage? He would have disadvantage. He would? Yeah, ability check. An ability checks. check. But he had advantage. So it would because... just be. Oh, sure. <laughs> it would just be straight. Just it just on attacks, though. It, it's a no, grapple. The, the grapple is an attack. Yes. Yeah, oh, dude. A straight roll. He rolled a 26. No! <laughs> so you you almost manage it. You like you He really grabs did. you and you take his fingers and you've got these two icy claws and you're starting to pry them off and you're just not able to, with the strength of your hands alone. And you guys watch as he picks her up by about three feet off the ground and he starts walking <laughs> and, and Alexa and Kala you hear oh fuck this is now a house of winter's dark bite a temple to the might of the eternal blizzard and he lets you go over the edge and you plummet a hundred feet oh! With the howling winds raging all around you, the ice and snow whipping past. Alexa, you see it. Birdie, you see Green <sighs> the Bop. There's oh. nothing we can do. Oh I my god. Yeah, I don't have any reaction. I was gonna be good. <laughs> said it'd be good. It was like building Alex, the fate ships. Uh, uh, B B Birdie sees Brina <sighs> just drop. Alexa, you turn and looking over the edge that you are also up against. You watch as Brina just, and silently, you see the water spray. There's no reaction. <sighs> Nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> Brina, I need you to make a constitution saving throw as you are plunged into this icy water. All right, well, for that, just because it's probably the only thing I could fucking do on, the way, on her way down, I will use my reaction to bend her luck. And she can add, oh, that didn't roll it. She had a four to her saving throw. Just a straight up and down concept. Guys, I am not. Oh! <laughs> Bro, stop this. Stop this madness. No, this wasn't smart, Alex. You said it'd be cool. You said it'd be like Revenge of the Sith. You're a bitch for this. I just texted her like, this is Duel of the Fate shit. They're like out on the, like above the lava. <laughs> this was not cool. He's gonna roll. This is gone so south. This like, is so fast. G give me a minute because I have to count. Oh. I'm toast, gang. I'm toast. You might be. You're not toast. No. You're still raging. You're gonna have damage. <laughs> You're a fucking bitch, Alex. 10d6, that's 30 damage. Uh, it has, it's gonna be like 15 damage here. That's absolutely not how math works. That's absolutely how math works. <laughs> Talk to me while I'm inside my flannel. So, you would take 40 cold damage, but you're resistant to cold, so it would be 20, and then you're raging, so it would be 10. It's <laughs> 5 off! I said it would be 15! Do I take any fall damage? You went not... over, though, no, so... You, you, you go over the edge, you... through the air, and then... Whoosh, into the icy water. Okay. You just now, run. 100 feet like, is a. No, I guess it's like off a high dive. Like, that's off a high dive. Yeah, that's 30 she's, meters. She's, she's buff, buff super barbarian. So yeah. you hit the water, you don't go splat, but you, you are plunged beneath it, and it is absolutely cold. 
This was stupid. Fuck. Well, it was, stupid. It was, it was fucking cool. It got all our attention, huh? <laughs> at at Holy... this point, the clock Fuck. turns towards you, Alexa. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> and says, Come, I like, I like little hitting ones. Him. If you wish to know violence, I shall teach you. And then this that brings bitch. it to Kala's turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will say, for only taking 10 damage, that was cool as fuck. It would have been a lot, would have been a lot less cool, guys, if I would have <laughs> been dead. But I was I ready for I'm, some surface tension damage. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just gonna go swimming for the next fucking to several turns. See y'all later. God damn it, fucking uh, dumb bitch. 26 out of 25. Okay. This ice, how rough yes. is it? Can I climb it? I got an idea. Honestly, like, will my climbing speed let me? You, you've not seen the the front end of this because <laughs> of the blizzard. The, the only part of that that iceberg edge you've seen was around the tunnel entrance when you mm. leapt from the boat. I, I would say that in in the moments you had there, because you did have some time as the party kind of transferred themselves mm. into the iceberg. You, you got to look at those walls. They are ice. Mm. But it is not smooth carved, so so it is rough. There are places you could grip your yourself in. I would say your climb speed would allow you to use your full movement, not treat it as difficult terrain. Okay. But there would probably be a check involved to get down safely. Okay. Yeah, and and, and Brina, it's a hundred feet down to the water. It is a hundred feet down to the water. Uh, Brina, Brina could also have the option of trying to climb up out of it. Oh, okay, interesting. Gale the wall instead of trying to swim all the way around the iceberg. I'm just going to do a couple laps. Or, or other things if people get creative. Oh, I've got a dumb idea. Good. I have absolutely nothing to know okay. uh, well... No, do it, Paige. I mean, I guess I could, <laughs> I could come down and get you. but I'll just attack this round and see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, you do get your sneak attacks oh. now. Yeah, thirteen does not hit. Oh, oh. This sucks. Why? Oh, what is happening? Um. Yeah, you see Birdie's reaction as uh, Brina disappears over the edge, and yeah, his, I don't his think I saw it response. though. You didn't see her, but I can't. you see his reaction, and that causes your natural one. You're Something just momentarily happened. distracted by his abject horror on his face. <laughs> I feel like Birdie's one of those people that like laughs when shit goes really, really wrong, like as a panic response. So he's just like, <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> I will say from your vantage point, you did see the the claw grab her and move out the door. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. Rina. You find yourself clawing your way to oh. the surface, gasping for air. The water is frigid you you've swum in in frozen lakes before you know your your people think of it as a a test of their their stoutness and their their athleticism so it's not as detrimental to you as it would be to other creatures but you are tossed about in a turbulent sea occasionally it one wave brings you close you, you kind of like feel yourself knocked against the side of the iceberg i think you skipped birdie's turn did i oh i did oh Sorry. yeah Sorry, I was just getting nervous. I was also, I was like, let's hear what happens to Brino. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Okay, Birdie, fuck him up. <laughs> no pressure. I think seeing Brina go over the edge, Birdie's just lets out like a, Brina! And he's going to send a seventh level uh, psychic lance at this guy. Oh, okay. Full. So he needs to make a, an intelligence saving throw. Let's go. I'm sure they're IQ 400s. Six. 
seventh level. Damn, boy. Okay, well, I guess I have to get Brina then. Well, or we'll see what you do. You just Sorry. This potentially Wait. stun him. Uh, it will not stun him. Okay. It will incapacitate him. <laughs> it will not stun him though. Okay. No, he uh he rolled a nine. She. Uh, <laughs> sheer force of your rage. Oh, no, oh, that's spell. not right. Wrong spell. Wrong spell. I clicked ten d six. Wrong spell. One hundred and fifty eight damage. Oh, there we go. God. Thirty thirty five psychic damage. Oh, yeah, I'm shorty. Uh, and he is incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Oh. Oh my god, Alex, I saw that 158. I was like, he's double dead. Like, Sh- sheesh! <laughs> he's going off! You hear Brina from the water. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he just he just sends that like and nor yeah, I, I think uh yeah, prismatic spray. Yeah, prismatic spray is <laughs> a beast. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 35 psychic damage, and and he is he is incapacitated until the, the end of my next turn. That is pretty end of your Oh, I'm sorry. Start start of my next turn. Start, start of my next game. turn. Incapacitated. Yeah. It doesn't do a lot, but it does take a Well, he, has... he he fails saves. So if you've yeah. got Yeah, he has so many resistances and and things that like prevent him from other stuff and this is not one of them. Oh, yeah. Let's straight incapacitate. Do you yeah. Yeah. And you he lose rage after not being able to incapacitate well, unless we hit him it, he'll take damage but yeah yeah incapacitated can't take actions or reactions so yeah better yeah, we'll just leave it that's fine well can they still move you can't take actions in, or in, in, incapacitated, incapacitated. I don't think. But, yeah, but that, I've got it up here. I guess on D and D Beyond, oh, no. it just you you can move. You just can't yeah. take actions or reactions. Yeah. Uh, guys, this is fucking crazy. That does seem <laughs> odd, but I guess that's why most of them are like stunned and incapacitated. Uh, this just says and is incapacitated. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you can stumble around and not do anything, but. He's just got a headache. You know, he just can't take actions or reactions, but he can still move. He has to say, yeah. oh. Right. Uh, that brings it to Brina. Okay. So climbing is half speed. Okay. Yeah. Brina emerges from the water, pissed as fuck, but grateful that she's alive. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to become the wolf baby so super cool emerges from the water flips her hair back as she does like her nails lengthen into claws or will kind of gets a little snout to her and just lets out a fucking cool ass howl and as she does i'm gonna start climbing the face of this fucking cliff my speed goes to 50, um, so I'll get 50 feet up if I'm using my movement and my action on this turn. Yeah, you um, to ash. yeah. so she lets out a yeah. big ass, woo! <laughs> um, so Alexa, you guys know she's alive. You just barely hear this howl carried up to you on the winds of the blizzard, and she kind of like look quickly over to see what's going on. You see Brina's clawed form just like making progress. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Later, guys. I'll see you all in right. the Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, I'm sweating. Woo-hoo. Uh, the ice brood up here. They will. Oh, uh, hang on a minute. Kala. Oh, shit. I forgot to take a bonus action. Fuck. Uh, each of you take six cold damage for ending your turn within five feet of the swarm. They're gonna... Oh, well, they have to, to make a save before they can attack Wordy. 
Charisma saving throw to attack me? No. Roll a six. Yep. Uh, so they will turn and an attempt to vent their rage on Kala. Uh, 24 will hit. Is slashing damage again. So that's 20 slashing damage. They kind of got you pinned up against the door here, and they are starting to kind of lay into you. I'll do Uncanny Dodge again. Okay. Yeah. And that will bring it to Alexa, as this towering ice brood Coden stands over you, looking down almost hungrily. Although now, you, you hear Birdie shout, and you watch as this Coden sort of staggers back from an unseen blow, and he seems kind of phased. It's, it's, I believe it's a visible light. It's like, I, I imagine this like pink glittery lance just like whoosh, passes like directly through his forehead. Uh, and just like, no, there's no like blood or anything. It just like passes like right a, through. Like and he's a trail of glitter. Yeah, he's just like, running down his face. yeah. It's just like iridescent. Fucking, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just do. I mean, yeah, I mean, he says that. And he's looking at me, and then all of a sudden he gets stuck. Sure, let's bring it on. And I will again quicken a firebolt at him and a second firebolt at him. But the second one, Roy will pop. No, I'll still save it. Don't want to pop tides too early yet. I'll save it. Uh, so, yes, quicken and yeah, boop, boop. Yeah, unfortunately. You've been really incapacitated. And then roll for effect. Oh, I roll on the wild magic table? Yeah, I can actually do that. Yeah. I've got a macro. So I couldn't remember if that was a double roll or that's just a straight roll on the table. And it. Well, I guess I quickened and didn't get affected by anything. Oh. Uh, so as, as you use your meta magic, as you push that enchantment through that, that strange bloodstone wand, uh, the, the crackling potentiality around you shocks into life, and you actually regain your lowest level expended spell slot. Hell yeah! Sexy! <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I should have clicked your token. I clicked it for Honor's Claw, so it didn't show anybody. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I will just take one step back. <laughs> All right. He watches those two fireballs kind of whiz past his head, and he's just savvy enough to, to sort of move out of the way. His, his unpredictable movements kind of help him dodge those. And you see him kind of turn like he's going to back away a little bit, back in towards the shrine. Uh, and actually, that brings it to his turn, so he will do that. He, he sort of staggers back into the shrine a ways. Uh, and he cannot take actions or reactions. But he could mm -hmm. take a bonus action. I think technically a bonus action is an action. So I, I think that's... Well, except for with... Uh, or heck, why don't I not have it on my short list? Um... Well, because I was thinking about hitting him with, uh, I forget what the original spell is, but my re-flavored spell of something, I'll post it. It's because um, moreover on its next turn, it must choose whether it moves, takes an action or a bonus action. So I was going to cast that so it would cover his bonus action too. Well, that, yeah, that, that's kind of like slow where you, you, you can take either or. But I think incapacitated covers them. It's like you, you okay, you're saying it is like a, just a blanket. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, that will be his turn. Oh wait, no, I gotta. I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to give him something to hurt us with, but Kali, you watch as he sort of staggers in a little bit and sort of reaches out and puts a hand out on this totem to dragon, and just takes a couple of deep breaths taking no actions. All right, and that brings it to Kala's turn, and Birdie's on deck. 
I am just gonna keep attacking. Okay. Oh, oh fuck. You are distracted momentarily Bro. by this there it is. enormous creature staggering back into the shrine. 24 does hit. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right, there you go, Carla. So, that girl. minus six. No, minus, minus five. Five, five the sneak attack will still work, though. So, where did my pawn go? Ducks on the pond. Ducks on the pond. Yeah. I, I don't have a third uh, stage for the swarms, so they're only like full of half size as far as their visuals go. Uh, but yeah, 32. That's three of the remaining uh, swarm. Like, as, as they have all kind of clustered around you and have been just raking at you and stabbing at you, uh, you bring your sword out, and with a couple of well placed hits, you manage to take three of them down. One below, sort of cleaving through some of the lesser minions and embedding into the one behind. They're they're looking really rough. And that brings it to Birdie's turn. Actually, uh, Kala takes for being five feet. The cold aura is nine cold damage. And okay. Birdie, you start your turn in their space. I do. Oh shit! I keep forgetting I have to make a save. Indeed, they do. That is saving your ass i know <laughs> that's exactly yeah. why i did it <laughs> yeah. uh, with, a, with a 14 they, they just can't manage like the the two I, left standing i thought to myself these guys so don't look particularly charismatic <laughs> yeah. yeah they they again this this ice brute spawn here standing next to you is just like raising his hammer and uh, you just watch the muscles muscles kind of relax and there's like a little Smile. He's just so cute. Give him a wink. Can I move through their space since it's technically like a swarm? You cannot move through their space because they are hostile to you. Can I? Hmm. Where? Where? So if I if I'm trying to get like here, like inside this building, is that a place I can reach? If I go like around them, or you would have to climb uh, the ten feet up, like by the pillars. Huh. Like go down to here, and then try to climb up the the little wall there. Well, shit. I think there is an optional action. You try to like force your way through. Well, okay, uh, let's not kid ourselves, right? Actually, hang on, hang on. I, think I think there's one called tumble. Uh, action options, D and G. Disarm, mark, overrun, tumble try to tumble through their space ducking and weaving past them as an action or a bonus action you can make an acrobatics check contested by their acrobatics check let's do that that sounds fun let's do a little bonus action um little thing here i think birdie's got his eyes set on this big guy uh and he's gonna go for him so let's do a bonus action tumble okay 18. Two. Let's so go! You can move through their space once Jeez. on this turn. 15. 20. And then can I get in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, popping off. Make another acrobatics check for me. 13. Step into this icy space. You do manage, you slip a little bit, but you manage to keep your footing. All right. And then Birdie's going to go straight in with a, uh, He's get, he's got that loot. And he's just going to strike a chord, take a knee, and he's going to do a uh, destructive wave. Uh, so I need everybody to make constitute, or the, the horde and this guy to make constitution saving throws. Is that creatures of your choice? Creatures of my choice. Okay. Yeah. Each creature you choose within 30 feet. Uh, the swarm is a 16. Fail. No, he doesn't. Fail. He also rolls a 16. All right, it's going to be uh, 
2034. So uh, the first one's thunder damage, 15 thunder damage, and 19 radiant damage. Uh, the total? Uh, so thir 34 total. 34 total. And I, I think he's just he's just looking at this guy. I will end you. And he's he's going for him. Thunder. Okay. So Kala. Uh you, you watch as, as Birdie sort of nimbly works his way almost like a dance through this uh this swarm of ice brood. As he reaches the inside of the shrine sort of pirouettes on the ice around you. Oh, excuse me. I, I'm sorry. I forgot an effect here. Uh, he is also knocked prone uh, as a, as a, as by destructive wave. If you fail the save, you take the damage uh, and, and you are knocked prone. Yep. Okay. And he is no longer uh, incapacitated. He's no longer incapacitated, but he's now prone. As Bertie, this like wave of glitter and, and radiant light uh, erupts from his center. So, as Bertie like plays this chord, and this awful pulse racks this room. It, Alexa, even through the the blizzard outside, you could hear this discordant melody, just this chord, this power chord, shake the walls of the shrine. Little bits of icicles like dangling off the roof overhead, kind of smash into the ground around you. Kala, you you watch as this large hulking claw is staggered down onto his ass. And Bertie and Kala, you both see that the totem to dragon in the center of this room cracks and the frigid aura that had been emanating throughout dissipates. Oh yeah. And as it does so, you see parts of the claw, this thick icy shell covering him crack and bits kind of flake off. Let's go. Uh, would he have lost his rage on his turn? He did. Because, okay. So it'll be like full damage from this then. Yeah, not raging. Correct. Okay. Woo! Ooh. Full damage from the destructive Birdie's wave. Because his... he would have lost his rage on his turn. He, he is not a bear totem. Oh. He had resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Yeah. Thunder and radiant. I, I, I've been taking an extra time because when Brina uses her flaming sword, I have to do full fire damage and half slashing, so I've been doing oh. the calculation. All right. Way to go, Math King. No problem. Uh, where is my little tracker thing? Clutch move. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you that now his regeneration is no longer functioning because the totem is gone nice nice yeah, yeah i i i think i think birdie has just like pure rage in his eyes no no uh, no pun intended with the uh with the barbarians in the room but hey yeah. hey cultural appropriation oh that's my thing i get angry not you as you right. uh find yourself halfway up this this icy wall scampering it brings it to your turn I wouldn't say it's less scampering and more like super cool, powerful climbing, but okay, more Joyce. Um, is this an overhang? Slightly, yeah. Is it something that I could climb over once I got to the top? Or would it be a need to go around sort of thing? I don't really know what to... uh, So the, the, that is carved stone. That is smooth. So cool. you, if you were standing on the snow, like on the level of Alexa, you could probably like jump and try to climb up it that way, but getting there from or a vertical position on the ice. Yeah, that's some would, pro gamer shit that I'm try. It would require a roll. Yeah, that would be really embarrassing to fall back down. Um, some cliffhanger shit. Oh, uh, I am going to do the same thing I did last time. It'll get me to 100 feet, which I guess you could. I could be there, or I don't know if I'd as be back. You, as finding your your handholds you are still Ooh. holding like your shield is strapped to your arm 
and I presume you still have a sword in your hand. I fucking hope so. Yeah, so you're you're trying with your claws to kind of dig through this, and you're using the sword sometimes as a brace. Make an athletics check for me. I'm no longer raging. Disadvantage because it's so slick and icy, and the blizzard is blowing all around you. This will be good. Fingers crossed. What is it? Tab, control, there we are. Okay. So you do manage the top of the cliff this round by the skin of your teeth. There are times as you're, yeah, you're finding you steady progress, but as you stick the sword in to get a brace and pull yourself up, it slips a little bit, but you're, you just manage to catch like your thumb claw in the ice at the right time, and you continue to make your way. Freeze that ever. middle finger. That's your strongest one. Um, I'm actually going to pop up on the other side where Alex is, because okay. I just want to say hi. You will say you, you are able to get your footing. Sick. Um, okay. Yeah, that is what I will be. That is what I will do. Okay. Cool. Sheesh. Alexa. I'm going to take a kind of a deep breath, hearty step over to Brina and be like, I don't, I don't want to do that again. And then I, I touch your thigh and I cast fly on you. <laughs> your furry fly so now you are a furry flying wolf that's the dream <laughs> i think i've had that dream no and uh and then i'll just kind of walk around to the stairs and that'll be my turn are you still attuned to the boots of flying me no yeah okay no um yeah i had forgotten that you even had those belt of stone giant strength the shield and the sword uh, looking down at back, that was probably a bad decision for today. Huh? Hey, 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 you had to be practical. I got to be strong and safe and hit good. So, sorry. Right. So, like the casts a fly. I think that should trigger the con, did it not? Oh, his concentrator still broken. The add on. I, I think it's still broken. Okay, yeah, okay. Disabled. I forgot about that, but yeah. I will put that marker on you, though, just so you know. Mm. Okay. Brings it to the claw, who stands up slowly, like plants his his hammer on the ground. And he turns and he looks at you, Bertie, with your boot, uh, and Kala holding your bow, and he says, I see you come with powerful relics this is good i will earn jormag's favor when i gift them to him as tribute and he is going to lash out with his maul and try to hit birdie how's this him. guy how's this guy looking he's looking hurt okay okay yeah he has to make a charisma save right <laughs> he sure does he sure does <laughs> Better put his Mr. Man on for this. Yeah. Does not work. So he's going to take a step forward. Try to hit Kala instead. Can he move through my space? Can he reach her? He can reach her. Oh, he shit. Wants, he Not that 10 foot range. Frame shit. And the long length of his maul. He reaches out and smashes. That's how he threw me off the A. Mm. Uh, that will hit. <laughs> 27 to hit. Uh, you take 28 bludgeoning damage. She. I was getting uh, beat up today. I can't even dodge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, she's got like can't dodge, so I don't, I don't even feel that bad. Some of us I'm, just some of us take damage full I'm in the still face. Hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna help this you. This is out. the most I think you've ever taken. Yeah. Uh, so oh, once, shit, once yeah. he fails the save, it's just for that attack. Oh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> whenever a creature tries to attack you for the first time, the attacker must make a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, it can't attack you on this turn. Okay. So it there can't you attack you. So it will <laughs> follow with its second attack. Front row. Uh, does a 17 hit? Fuck, dude. Uh, so you take 35 bludgeoning damage. Fuck, dude. As two heavy blows. Hmm? Oh, you're unconscious. So this is the first 
hits you, kind of knocks you up against the door jam. Uh, and as Birdie uh, kind of ducks out of the way of the blow himself, the second one comes down and just catches you as you're trying to kind of back out. Your foot slips a little on the ice, and it just cold cocks you upside the head. Drop down at the top of the stairs. Alexa, you see Kala just kind of crumple under the strength of this blow. I'm glad I claim around the corner for that. Ish. Uh, his regeneration does not function. Yeah. Yeah, and his his breathing is now like increased, and he is he is once again feeling the rage. Uh oh, and shit, I forgot, Birdie. His cold aura. You take 10 cold damage from his cold aura. Alright, Bird, Bird, it would have been the start of his turn. You were not technically in range. You are now. So at the start of his next turn, if you're still within 10 feet. Oh, so I don't take 10. You do. Kala oh, does. Kala did. Okay. Ka Ka Chris was making a face at me because she's down and unconscious. But right. Is that my turn or it happens no, on it's the... the start of the Coden's turn. Okay. Yeah, so it would have happened when he was standing back here. Right. But He's within within five feet or happen. ten feet? Within ten feet. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, that's still not really good at all. Yeah. And you can see this, this frigid sort of mistiness around his feet and it's creeping towards you guys. You, you can see, like, the... the boots that you're wearing are kind of getting crusted with frost and even Kala now lying on the ground her arms are starting to kind of crust over with frosty rime and that brings it to Kala Ooh. make a death saving throw please oh. there's one failure with a six when Kala's making death saves you know shit's bad <laughs> we talked too much shit earlier we talk too much shit. Icarus, no. Making a note. Saves. Okay. Bertie and Brina's on deck. Well, let's get Kala up here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn a turn around, uh, and I'm gonna. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Facing that. Not Alexa right. needs some, but Alexa's gonna be all right. So we're gonna we're gonna hit Kala with the old, the old she's getting whacked, huh? Okay. No. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I like this. I like this. All right, I'm gonna hit Kala with a fourth level cure wounds as the action. Boom, 23 healing nice. to you. I'm going to use a mantle of inspiration as a bonus action. That's 11 temporary hit points to everybody that can see me, which excludes Brina, unfortunate, but well, well, that well, is the case. Uh, you can now immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed without provoking a bag of opportunity. And and Birdie, I think, like kind of grabs her and is like pushing her up. Is like, get out of here. Um and uh, you're gonna you're gonna go down again. Let me let me help you out. Oh Jesus! All right. <laughs> Remember, you would have to use half your movement to stand up from prime. Just back up. He can't. He can't hit. He can't touch me right now. Back back up. Sure. Let me block the way. <laughs> He's not gonna. I guess. <laughs> These stairs on either side of the um, statue going up. So right. So you guys are and then. And then Birdie's gonna stand uh, if he can, like oh, shit. I can't get the fucking token uh, to put. I, I'd like to stand like in right block the doorway essentially, uh, and and uh, just just look at this guy like fucking bring it, bro. The, the the doorway itself is like ten feet wide and like. 15 feet high. Birdie's uh, five foot wingspan. You are not physically able to fill it, but you can certainly fill your space. 
chest. <laughs> he's, out. he's a big guy though. Like he flo- he he can't get through five feet of, of space. He can squeeze. Oh, like don't terrain. don't do that. He can also just murder you. Yeah, he can also probably just <laughs> try. You. These guys are not charismatic. There's no way they're laying a finger on me. This is true. Um, there's no way I can. Oh, like block his space or anything? I'm nervous. Nah, if it was a five foot gap, you could. But yeah, not not ten feet, unfortunately. Dude, he grabbed me by the face <sighs> and shoved me. So. Damn it! All right, well, I'll, I'll try and go to him. I'll try and try and bring him to me. All right. So that brings it. That's the turn there. All right, let's fucking party, gamers. Rena takes one deep breath. Um. You are flying 60 feet. Yeah, you got range. Let's get it. Let's get it, girl. With that, Rain takes one deep breath. And I would like to rage. Oh, We're back, shorty. Get in there. What? Put fuck her in, you? coach. No, put her in, coach. Um, um, Brina just kind of stays like a foot from the ground, but it's going to make her way the same way she came if she can go up over that ledge. Um, yeah, you can fly, you can go pretty much wherever you want. I can fly, it's telling me I can't because it's a wall. Oh. Yep, yep, my bad. Let me in. Okay, go. cool. Um, back through the door. Oh, fuck. hey, shorty, yeah, not Excuse quite me. there. <laughs> <laughs> um, roofs are weird, roofs are weird. It's fine. Yeah, she's just gonna come out on the other side of them. Um, gonna flank with Birdie, which is the first time I've ever said that sentence. That's the first time? That ain't the first time. Yes, yeah, maybe one of the first times. Um, still in her wolf form, and just fucking beat this guy's shit back in. She probably says something cool. I can't think of it right now. There we go. I'll delete the roof. Oh, roof. Easier for people to see. Roof deleted. Um, yeah, she's gonna come back in, hovering like a foot off the ground, thanks to Alexa's fucking cool ass shit. Um, you know, I don't even think she says anything, but I'm gonna reckless attack and just hit him twice, God willing. Okay. And if you don't rise, thirty will hit. That's nineteen. Rage damage is back. Reckless yeah, attack yeah. again. Sorry, yeah, you gotta do the math. Sheesh. Minus six. Oh, fire. wait. That isn't a reckless attack. I have advantage because uh be blanking. Sexy. Mm. Okay. 24 also hits for sure. Uh, it's 18. Seven plus four. Plus three. Yeah, cool. All right. Rand just kind of peeks around to Birdie. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so, Birdie, you're taunting this this enormous creature, and it's staring down at you, rage filling its eyes, and all of a sudden, Brina just like coasts in midair, whack whack, like shaving off. I think I think Birdie's like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf form, Brina. Yeah. Like, through, I don't think even like a baseball slide, but in midair. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost cartoony. <laughs> slide right in. Chop, chop. You gotta do like the Looney Tunes feet kicking. Yeah. It's supposed to look cool, but it doesn't. It's fine. Let's kick some ass. Ah, two heavy hits. And that brings it. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh, bonus action, action movement. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. Okay. Ah, that brings it to Alexa. So I think if I move here, that's five, ten, five, and I'm assuming this is five, like ten up. Like, mm-hmm. if I have now the angle, can I see him? Yes, you can see him now. Okay. Uh, then you know, back to the old. Bro bread and butter my new bread and butter actually i should say not my old bread and butter uh quicken a uh firebolt and another firebolt to follow it up boop okay. boop 20, 20 and 13 i don't think that hits not. 
seven fire damage and roll with my bloodstone wand. Winter blast, ten feet out from me. Sorry. <laughs> I just did cold damage. <laughs> Unlikely. Uh, you have to make a. Oh, no, you just take it. Yeah, Kala takes two d six. No. <laughs> cold oh. Kala does. Oh yeah. God. That's ooh, and I rolled two fives, so that's ten. Uh, and my spell DC is ten cold damage, and then make a strength save throw. You are 16. pushed ten feet away from me and fall prone. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh shit. God, Kala. Here. Sorry, Kala. Learning how this works still. Chaos. Is that damn it? <laughs> yeah, that does end my turn now because I don't want to do anything else. Now I'm scared. All right. I'm so here for this, you guys. <laughs> All right, so you, you goaded him, so he's going to try to hit you. Yeah, make that charisma check, big boy. Come on, boss. Come on, where's my nat 20? Oh. <laughs> Where is it, Ryan? Seven. Where's that, where's that at, Ryan? Your nat 20s are when you hit us. Yeah, so those he, really are. He turns around and is going to hit Ooh. Rita instead. That's Wait, all right. Did you cast that? Uh, I'm tracking five rounds ago. Okay, that's why I forgot oh, we didn't start. it is start. round 10, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of us cast minute spells at the start of combat. No, this was part, so. part, this was uh, well, started uh, today. Chandler's Blade Song will be down by now. Mm, mm. Uh, I lost so my rage that... when I fell into the fucking ocean, so happens. Yeah. Flies 10 minutes at least, so that's... I'm not tracking that. Is it concentration? So he turns around it towards is. you, Brina. He I am, but don't worry. Brings that maul down, unable to strike at Birdie. Makes sense. Uh, that will hit. Makes sense. So. I'm so bad at math. How could you a big calculator if you want? I'm not good at it. Uh, re reduced because you're raging, you take 18 bludgeoning damage. One. And his second attack will also hit for 16 bludgeoning damage. Ooh, baby. Let's party. He's a beefy boy. When he hits, he hits. Strong lad. Uh, and at the start of his turn, both you and Birdie oh, take 10 cold damage. Yeah. Halved because I'm raging. Halved because. Yes, so too. <laughs> I'm a cold gal. It's handy. You, th okay. This is your your home element. Totem barbarian's OP, but you know what? It, it's good because I don't have to do math. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll I see this guy simple on purpose, so that's that's the end of his turn. Which brings it to Kala, as you are thrust suddenly away. In the midst of the blizzard, by an even colder, more directed burst of cold from Alexa. Uh, I'm gonna stand up. I'll use feline agility to double my speed, so I have 80, so I still have 40. Okay. I will run in, hit him once. Eighteen will hit. He takes then, all that, doesn't he? Yeah. Bonus action disengage. And I could get just outside his cold range. Yes. And outside his melee range too. Uh, Forty five. Yeah. As he is turned around and is bringing this hammer down repeatedly on Brina, who is alternately blocking the blows with her shield and turning them aside as best she can with her flaming sword, uh, you manage to run up and find a space where some of that ice has begun to flake off, and you just bury your short sword there. Very, very hefty blow. He, he's looking rough. Uh, and that brings it to Bertie. All right. Uh, he's looking rough. Yeah. Pretty rough. Yeah. 
take them home, take them to church. <laughs> uh, I see what I have to take them to church with here. Birdie's not really a church goer in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, Bert. All right, all right. I'll tell you what I'll do. You watch another uh, Birdie keys up another. This you get. You watch this like kind of lance of of pink and glitter energy just kind of shoots out of out of out of the top of his his uh, his loot and straight through the head of, of this guy. I need him to make another intelligence saving throw as I cast a fourth level psychic glance. Okay. Fuck yeah, brother. Take his ass home. He fails. I love how dumb and uncharismatic these people are. <laughs> Where he said my time to shit. All right. So he is incapacitated until the start of my next turn. And he is going to take... Oh, fuck. 15 psychic, 15 psychic damage. A lot of ones. Yeah, sure is. But again, you guys watch as this, this glittering lance stabs into this creature's brain as it's kind of turned towards Kala now, trying to find out what the hell just hit it. Yeah, and it, its clawed hand goes up that's not holding onto its maul and grabs it by itself by the forehead. It's, oh, oh, and it's sort of stunned in place for the moment. Good. Yeah, good combo yeah. work. Mm-hmm. That brings it to Brina. Agreed. Um, ooh, baby. While he's kind of reeling from this fucking psychic glance on the head, we're going to hit him again. That's my... Crit. Again, that brutal critical is not correct, so let me fucking... got to do some math here. Put him down. Be... Um... Five... Six... Ten. Ten slashing. Okay. 19 fire and then brutal cr brutal critical on top of that six and then three rage damage how do you want to do this oh yeah um i just want to get him on the backs of the calves whatever is exposed bring him down to his knees um just through the back of the neck one big ass fucking push with the sword. Yeah. Enough so that I can plunge. see Birdie on the other side of him. Gladiator <laughs> execution style. Get him down on the ground. Deep breath. Oh, and plunge that sword down. And there's just a hot moment where he takes like an intake of breath. <gasps> he watches his entire form just kind of freezes rigid. And for a moment, like you're, you're kind of worried you're not going to get your sword back out because you go to pull it, it doesn't come out. <laughs> summon all your might and just rip it out. And as you do, there's just this huge chunk of ice that sprays out. And there's just this gaping icy hole in what looks like a carved ice statue. Yeah. It's frozen there on its knees, the maul in one hand, kind of bracing the statue up. And it's just frozen there. And he is dead. Hell yeah. Fucking rock and roll. God. That was fucking crazy. I, I think I think Birdie kind of runs over to Brina, gives her gives her a gives her a little hug. I'm really hey, I'm really wet. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really good that you got a bath this week. That doesn't what not what I wanted to do. Brina's <laughs> like wiping away a little tears. <laughs> Give him a little hug back. No. I still stinky though. There's no soap in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. An That's eerie sucking. stillness kind of settles over everything. You could you could hear the the howling of the blizzard outside, but inside the shrine, all is still and quiet. There's just occasionally like the crack of like splintering ice. 
should I send Galatar a message? Do we want to try? We need to catch up with them. Yeah. I get Probably. the feeling they handled that swarm pretty well. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about that one. <laughs> Jump cut. Um. Yeah. You are free to move about and do what you would like. There, there seem to be no more threats present. Uh, maybe we should take a rest here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should take a rest. Uh, for sure. I that would be great. I hate to volunteer, but we, Brina, would you mind maybe scouting a little bit while you can fly? Oh yeah, totally. Where should? Uh, oh, well, we just fly. kind of maybe to see where our friends are. Oh yeah, I'll do a lap. Um, just kind of. You know, you only have about nine more. I, I know time is your hard nine minutes. This many, how many um, heartbeats? <laughs> Brandon does not measure. Um, she's just gonna do a lap around the Let's see. I'm gonna, area. Ryan, I'm gonna send you a message real quick. Oh. Stat block real quick. I think if we can bring Keytree and Galatar back here, everybody take a rest. Yeah. I mean, I would Together. like to take a rest because then I can restore some mana. I agree. How does this work? Oh, and I apologize because I know you're in the middle of something, Ryan, but I don't think my plus two is working on my wand. Is it not? No, and I had to go look at my DC for Kala. That was when I started doing math, and I don't think it's actually working. Okay, I, and I will am make a note. Sheesh, guys. That's fucking crazy. That was some epic. I totally thought you were fucked. I, I will say that, uh, Marina, let me, let me look at what this says specifically. Yeah, I thought there would be some water tension. I guess it's rocky seas, so there's not. Be because you are yeah. flying magically, because uh, you're, you're flying magically and not naturally, you can fly, but the. Mm. terrible wind outside like as you try to go up higher and, and scout around you find that you are driven to the ground if Ugh. you don't land Ooh. at the end of each of your turns you fall out of the sky oh yeah oh wow so, okay but i i will say that as you guys kind of gather yourselves and begin to look around uh Keetri and galatar come walking back down the path that they left uh, Keetri now in her silvari form once again uh and they uh seem to be in pretty good spirits uh galatar is just sort of laughing and you see him like gesturing with his hands and uh Keetri, you know, walking with her staff is, is looking very proud of herself uh, and as they they walk back up galatar just says Oh no! It, it was it was great. They uh, they could not even hit me. It was like uh, I was a ghost. You know, I just sort of danced around there, very, <laughs> very clumsy, and uh, I you know I, I took them all uh, on a merry chase. And and Kiju says yes, and I cast a thunder wave and threw them all off the edge. That's really good. Mom. Well done, well done, well done all. <laughs> I just I marked off a first level spell so she cast thunder wave to push like the last three guys off the edge. Nice. They're, yeah, they're probably swimming in the water right now, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> they're effectively <laughs> gone. Rina just emerges behind them, just one foot off the ground, still dripping wet. <laughs> like, yeah, it was super good on this end too. Glad you guys had fun. Uh, I will say that at this point, Petri for sure uh, would probably heal people. Well, are we going to take a short rest here? Yeah, this is actually this would be a good time to cut it. I think. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say let's block. short rest and cut it maybe. Yeah, and then we can do the healing when we get back. Yeah, yeah. 
Sheesh, gang. Yeah, I definitely want a short rest. Get a short rest. Is it interrupted? Oh, he was banging a gong. <laughs> so I, I will say that your short rest is not interrupted if you want to go ahead and hit your buttons. But I would wait to do... Uh, well, I mean, you can go ahead and do hit dice either way. It doesn't matter. And then you can tell Keytree what you need after. Afterward. When we get back next time. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to hit die expended. Okay. That was fun. That was wild. That was dope. That was a good combat, guys. Was I was I was not expecting that. I, I kind of was expecting combat to happen on the upper uh, staircase and stuff. I, I didn't even think to use the, the drop-off on the front. That was dope as fuck. <laughs> no, oh. I'm glad that it didn't hurt me more. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been less dope, and I would have been more sad. In hindsight, it probably should have, because you guys are fine. It probably... <laughs> I thought it was going to be toast. I don't know what it is about cliffs where I'm like, no, nope, they're just gone. <laughs> so no more for me. Um, oh, fuck. I love a short rest. Gives me back all those inspirations. Gives me back my unbreakable majesty. I'm just out here trying to do the basic math of how many hit die should I roll. Galtar gets <laughs> some spells back if he chooses to. I'll let him decide that next time. Damn, Brina. Yeah, I'm just going to keep rolling for a minute. I'm out, I'm out of seventh level spell now because I got upset. <laughs> That's your fault. Control your emotions. Uh, I will say, Brina, as you as you flew up momentarily to, to kind of scout about and you saw your friends coming back, you did kind of get a general glance at the, the size and shape of the berg around you. The, the snow and the ice and the wind makes visibility very, very poor. But you can see that behind the bell tower to the north is a pretty massive wall that goes like a horseshoe around the center mass of this space and as you kind of reach the top of your height before the wind sort of knocked you down you caught just over the top of that wall you could see the roof uh, of what ice raking described as the, the sort of main temple uh, to coda where the voice and claw make their residence Cool. cool, 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 cool. Once I return, I pass that information along to my peers. Do I have anything cool? Any loot? He is mostly a solid chunk of ice, mm -hmm. uh, but his hammer is is because he's large it's technically too big to be wielded by a medium-sized creature but it is not part of his ice statue form it is kind of free you probably have to break his hand off but it is a massive um, two-handed maul and the the head of it now that you're you're up close and, and have a moment to study it when it's not trying to hit you it looks like a, a ring of metal that is attached to the end of this this haft. And inside that ring is sort of suspended the head of the hammer, which is just a solid chunk of magical ice. I, I will say as, as part of a short rest and looking at it and kind of investigating it, it, it it's... The thing itself appears to be magical, but it doesn't have like magic effects. It's just like a magical hammer. Okay. Yeah. But uh, he has no, no pockets left, really, uh, or anything like that. And so yeah, uh, you guys settle down for a short rest when we come back next time we will have Kitri and Galatar decide if they do their arcane recovery and if uh, Kitri wants to heal anybody that still needs it um go ahead and start. 30 sheesh guys yeah. uh -huh. comforted by the sound of, of whipping wintry winds outside the shrine catch your breath heal your wounds I also use my arcane regeneration. <laughs>